Good morning and happy Monday. And you know what Monday means? Another episode of Medication Monday. So let's get into it. And if this is the first time you've found my videos, hi, I'm Stacy. I'm a paramedic instructor and Mondays are for medications. And today's medication is called diphenhydramine. It is more commonly known by its brand name, which is Benadryl. And Benadryl falls under the class of antihistamines. So why do we give Benadryl out in the EMS field? One of the indications is anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a systemic, life-threatening allergic reaction. Another indication you might see is just a simple allergic reaction. It may not be systemic. It may be more localized. Another indication is dystonia or a dystonic reaction, which I would like to do an entire video on because it is fascinating. And this last indication has been taken out of some of the protocols, so make sure you're checking on that. But nausea, vomiting, or motion sickness. Diphenhydramine can act as an antiemetic. So how does it work in the body? Well, we know it's an antihistamine. So the way that it works is it antagonizes or blocks the H1 receptors. And these H1 receptors can be found in the airway, in the GI tract, blood vessels, and various other tissues. So by blocking these receptors, it will lessen or reverse the symptoms of an allergic reaction. Contraindications of Benadryl are going to be asthma and the neonate population. And before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. But your typical dose of Benadryl, adult dose, is going to be 25 to 50 milligrams. And that can be given IV, IO, or IM. And then for your pediatrics, it's going to be one milligram per kilogram. As for drug interactions, just keep in mind that Benadryl is a central nervous system depressant, so if you give it in conjunction with another central nervous system depressant, like a benzodiazepine, a narcotic, a sedative, or something like that, the overall effects of Benadryl will be potentiated. And a few side notes about Benadryl. I know that we mentioned it is given for the life-threatening reaction we call anaphylaxis, but I wanted to make it clear that we do not ever hold off on administering epinephrine to administer Benadryl. Epinephrine is going to bide you time and reverse those symptoms while we get an antihistamine on board, but we have to have to administer epinephrine. So don't ever hold back from giving epi. And just keep in mind, in the case of dystonia or a dystonic reaction, Benadryl is to be administered alone. You are not to administer epi to these types of reactions. Uh, Benadryl is administered and it usually kicks in very, very fast. And if you're an EMS, chances are you know what Zequil is because we all struggle with our sleep, right? If you know, you know. But the active ingredient in Zequil is actually diphenhydramine. And before I close out the video, I do want to make it clear that the science and the research when it comes to minor allergic reactions, hives or hay fever or something like that, is really leaning away from diphenhydramine as the first line. They are starting to recommend Allegra or Claritin, so that might be something that we see reflected more on the ambulances pretty soon, if you haven't already seen it. 